Hey guys, welcome back to the... Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna use that. <laughs> I think that's a good start. All right, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the next... The, um, Oh, yeah, we're gonna use that man. one. Alright, you know what? I have an iTunes. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to episode three, four. Five? Five? What? No, I don't know. What episode are you? Four. Five. I think it's five. No, I think it's five, dude. Five? Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to episode four or five. <laughs> we'll get back to you. Of the Coach's Corner. Uh, I'm Luke. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't know why oh. I said I'm Luke. You wish. You, you wish. <laughs> you can't hold me like me, guys. <laughs> you said that with such confidence. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I say that? Oh, we just dive straight into the questions. I think it's because question. now I'm starting to grow a beard. I think it's trying to be like me. Yeah, I'm leg. starting to grow a beard. Like <laughs> the whole video like this. <laughs> no, yeah, really? Just serious. That. <laughs> I'm Ash. We're not doing this. No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> we're Luke. This is Lenka, Abby, and Steve. So we're going to dive straight into the questions after that start. Um, let's go. So first one. I have a question. I've seen your videos and stories and lifting something heavy looks really appealing, but I'm afraid to become bulky. Will this happen? Will this happen, guys? Well, that'll be in your control. I mean, like you're not just going to become bulky like, and it will be out of control. Like you'll, you know, you'll get your strength and you'll enjoy it and everything and then after that, you'll be able to control it. Like, you're not just going to become bulky, particularly if you're a woman. Right. Well, I think, like, every fitness question is, it's, it depends. Um, building muscle isn't easy, so if you think you're going to walk in into the gym and just start lifting weights and get bulky and get muscly, then you're wrong because it's hard and it takes time. So that's the first thing. Also, it depends a lot on nutrition. If you're eating a calorie surplus and then lifting weights over time, you probably will look bulky. But if you just come in and just control your nutrition and like deficit, you're trying to retain muscle, build muscle, that's probably the best approach mm. for that. But it's hard, hard to build muscle and it's hard to get look bulky, mm. yep. especially for females. With just testosterone, not yeah, as high. Hormone yep. and and all that, so. yeah. I think another way to look at it too is if, um, uh, a very simple approach to look at it would be like you have your muscle here and you have a layer of body fat around you. And if you, <laughs> Thanks, Luke. If you have, um, you know, if you are like like Luke said, then you're eating in a bit of a surplus. You're not worrying about your nutrition. This body fat can can come thicker, which then could help increase the size here. So if you were to look at trying to diet down and decrease this layer of body fat here, which will then start to show more of the muscle. That's you know that's how you're going to become a little bit. Well, you're going to appear smaller. Um, I guess if it is for the female, which that's what the question was for. Right, next one, let's move on. Hi guys, what would you recommend first, cardio or weights? You see that? <laughs> that doesn't come up. <laughs> I'm on fire today. <laughs> Can we smell <laughs> sense? Have you seen it? <laughs> I, I, let's do Wait, it. do you smell sense? Do you a slow-mo. You introduce yourself as well. <laughs> It's raining today. <laughs> let's go. Hi guys, what would you recommend first, cardio or weights, when the goal is to lose body fat and retain muscle? Thanks. Well, you probably need to do both. Yeah, it's not it's not one or the other. If you do only cardio, um, if you do steady state, let's say, um, you're probably going to lose muscle. No, but I think what they, they said is, what would you recommend doing first? In the session. Yeah. Would you go straight oh, into a session. cardio or would you go straight to weights? I'd go straight to weights first, straight yeah. to weights, cardio. Yeah. So then you can put more into your, your strength and then do your cardio mm -hmm. afterwards. Okay. Or look at splitting it up and doing strength day and then yeah. doing an yeah. interval day or a cardio yeah. day and so then you can get mm. the maximum benefit of out of both. Yeah. 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 But doing a short bit of conditioning at the end of your session I think is mm. really beneficial. Yeah. And I think it's really helpful to, because first we've got to, to burn fat, we've got to mobilise the fat. So, and that's primarily achieved from uh, maximal effort, like short duration types of exercises. So, resistance um, training. Yeah, resistance training. So we do that first to mobilise the fat and then we can transport it and use it up. Mm. So, then, yeah. Could yep. be the science? Yeah, sort of, best I could. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number three. I'm struggling to completely lock out in my deadlift once I start lifting heavy. How would you recommend I could fix this? It's probably because your glutes are not strong enough. Um, yeah. so to, to lock the deadlift, you need to squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Hip um, extension. Yeah. yeah. So that's probably the problem. So you need to... Um, so what exercise would you recommend to try and increase strength in the glutes? In the glutes? 
but you can do glute bridges, um, hip thrust, um, good even, mornings. Even like a hip thrust with a, um, a hold, like a pause, <coughs> yeah. two second pause. Yeah. Um, specificity is still good though, so if you're trying to improve your deadlift, obviously deadlifting is important. And the lockout is hip extension, so work on hip extension, so really just thinking of driving those hips through the bar and not like finishing early. A lot of people don't lock out and that's what they're, they're missing so much of the glute recruitment because they don't actually lock out the lift. So actually pushing the hips through, getting straight, don't obviously hyperextend, which people do as well. You just gotta get up straight, nice and strong, nice and tall and not hyperextend back, but actually using your glutes. Um, and can do rack pulls, um, yeah. Romanian deadlift. Like that, like. Even um, a banded variation where you band yeah, band this band around the bar. So then the, obviously the, as a band, you lift further like up. Feet. Yeah, the band, your feet are on the band and you have to lock up because the band's pulling down. So it's a bit harder. So you can add that as a variation to the deadlift as well. Um, but primarily hip extension movements, like Lanka said, that's what you're focusing on the glutes. As well. mm. Yeah, I think a lot of time it's it's a like a positional issue somewhere along the line. So, like you guys said, position um, with the hip extension. But I think it's very helpful to feel when you lift and then kind of see where you're really struggling because a lot of time people will lock kind of lock their legs up first. Yeah, and it leaves a big like a lot of movement, like a lot of hip extension left over, and plus you're hanging over the bar. So, if that's the case for you, some some kind of pause yeah. work would, would do well too. Yeah, mm. just to really refine like. Keeping that technique yeah. and positioning. So. Mm. And there's, of course, it's case by case. Yeah. yeah. Quite, <clears throat> it could be yeah. that for someone, could yeah. be just something else. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're only seeing it from, from yeah. what we yeah. can see just yeah. through a so, question. So. Yeah. Probably film yourself and see where your issue is, whether it's just weak glutes or you're getting out of position and then address it, like mm. address your weaknesses. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, final question. Hi, guys. I'm absolutely loving your content. Keep doing what you're doing because it's helping so much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, I have a question. If you all had to choose one exercise to build someone's glutes, what exercise would you choose? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you would choose the squat? Squat, yeah. yeah. Just because, um, especially, I mean, if you do it with correct form and to a decent depth, at least parallel, then we're getting that, that hip extension in there. So, and um, yeah, it's a great overall body like, um, exercise to yeah. like, so, yeah. Mm. Well, mainly lower body, obviously. But yeah. 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 Abs. I'd probably go single leg hip press. So then you're activating both sides of the glutes mm -hmm. and being able to isolate the glutes with that. So mm. if you then you carry over into your squats and deadlifts, um, keeping the strength in both sides, I think, is important. Yeah. That'd be my pick. Um, no, it's getting harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you can choose the same exercise. It yeah. doesn't mean you just can't have, the, have to have different. Um. I would probably say hip thrust if you do it correctly because um, a lot of people when they do hip thrust they feel their quads or their hamstrings which means that they're not doing it right um, you really need to be squeezing your bum sometimes if you lift your toes it will help um, using only your glutes so I would probably mm. choose yeah, hip thrust I'm going to say squat, definitely squat it's if I, one exercise, it would be squat. I think if you lift heavy load with a squat, with the correct technique, mm. it, the glutes are important sure. in a squat. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bar? <laughs> you the booty here. Do you want to see my ass? No. <laughs> well, when I, when I was squatting heavy, I did have it. My ass was actually getting <laughs> big, and I wasn't doing any hip thrusts. I was, I was just squatting. So I think if one, if the question is one exercise, it would have to be the squat. I can't look past it. I would choose the hip thrust. Um, and that would be definitely my go-to uh, movement. Um, one of the moves that you can actually put tension on the glutes throughout the whole movement, you know, whereas you're not resting on that movement. So that would be my go-to. Deadlift is good as well, by the way. Yeah. Biggest thing is hip extension. Yeah. 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 So anything that's what we glute. So maybe anything, anything with hip extension. Look, you can uh, demonstrate hip extension. Extension? Yeah. Uh, plus. Yeah. Where's, the, where's the music? Yeah. <laughs> that's hip extension. Do it again. <laughs> that's good. Cool, they're all the questions, short and sweet. If you guys have a question you'd like to, uh, for us to answer, then shoot a message down into our Instagram DM. Um, we will answer your question and we'll answer your question for you. Thanks for watching. 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 Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, if you want to see more content, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.
Oh, <laughs> oh,